guys, welcome to the Toys of a Time Gone By, and here's a review of the New Origins Castle Grayskull. I hope you guys like it. Thanks a lot, and here we go. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Toys of a Time Gone By. I'm your host, Mark, and today I'm going to go a little in-depth about this brand new Castle Grayskull that I had received today. I did a video earlier about the unboxing but I didn't really go too in depth about the way the the castle looks I just wanted to kind of like be a little more descriptive with it and uh, like compare it to the original Castle Grayskull and so let's just let this start now let's go with it all right so I'm going to talk about the um, the face of the castle and I'm going to compare it to the original fit castle face the facade of the castle and uh, and you guys can look at this castle and see the differences the way it looks uh, even down to the stones and uh, this we'll get to this little piece here that is not in the original castle. This is not there. But the face itself, the skull eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the, um, the jaw bridge. Specifically, we'll look into that. Um, as you notice, this uh, inside here is more refined. The way they painted this, it looks... Um, really cool you know the way they painted it uh everything is nice like almost perfect with it uh the techniques they use today a lot of uh, airbrushing techniques it's the more um more of a more control over um the way you spraying the uh the paint uh, rather than the original, which was just kind of like uh, airbrush, you know, not airbrush, uh, just kind of like it. They took a uh, can of paint and an aerosol can of paint and they just sprayed. And some of those were uh, different. Every, every one you got, some of those sprayed a little different than another that was sprayed. They just kind of like once over on it. Now, you could see all the stones and all that. Everything is different with the stones. If you look at the original castle, you'll see um, <clears throat> pretty much even this area is all different. The other one kind of like uh, the original stops up here. And um, pretty much, uh, and also all these, the, the stones over here are different too. This is... The original castle is a little, actually a little wider. It comes out a little bit wider on there, um, but the back is not there. So in the original castle, you don't have this, this area in the back, which I can show you here. You don't have this area on the back here in the original castle. I think, actually, I think it's really cool that there's some extra room here to um to place a figure actually to just place a figure there you have more room to place him um i can move actually if you look at it this way you could take uh you can take the flag here which and then you can see the differences on the flag too i mean this flag is pretty pretty nice i just put the um Earlier when I did my video, I didn't put the uh, stickers on. But you could see the way these fl the flag is. It's really, really nice. The sticker is really, really nice on the flag. And they got it to the, the point where it, it looks nearly the same as the original, but it's not as big as the original. And then now you have the, the gun. Now that... The gun itself is, um, the gun is different. 
It's very, it's not very different, but it is different, the gun. And you guys could see the difference here in the cannon itself. And the cannon itself is, it's not exactly um, the way it is here. It's not exactly like the original, which the original cannon, these two guns here, one is on the other side. So kind of like looks more uniformed. Um, and the color is about the same. This might be a little bit more orange color. Um, but um, I can see the, uh, you could see now with the gun also, it snaps in two different directions. It'll stay that way. It just seems like a pretty good gun. Uh, and this, I, I don't know what that is there. I mean, when they put that, it must be some sort of laser or ray. But I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him, this this uh, gun up here because you can place you can place a figure up here to use the cannon. It's pretty neat. And I'll just put it up there, you know. But let's go back to the front again of the castle, and let's talk about the drawbridge. Look at the drawbridge. I mean, the drawbridge really, really looks great. And you could see, uh, it's not the whole, the green color of the drawbridge. It's, you know, the wood brown, deep, deep brown, which is beautiful. And then the swords and all the textures here on it, um, they're pretty much the same as the original door but the shape is different and it has these silver accents and this different color green here you could see in the silver accents on the bottom here uh, they look really really nice and uh you can open the um the jawbridge using he-man sword just like the other one here, and I'll show you, it just kind of snaps down, you know, like this. And you could see inside how cool the uh, jawbridge is. I mean, the jawbridge is really, really nice. I mean, the way it looks, the teeth and all that, and um, just, just looks like he needs some kind of uh, dental plan. <laughs> but... This drawbridge actually just snaps, just snaps in like somebody's kind of like spring loaded here, kind of snaps in. You can hear the click. That's pretty neat. I mean, it's really, really neat that it just snaps in like that. Now, uh, another thing that I could talk about here is these little speckles all over the place. They're like little tiny speckles on I'm not sure if you can actually see the speckles. I mean, most people know about these speckles. I mean, you could probably see them here. They're all over. I mean, it's okay. It's not that bad. I mean, it doesn't really... I don't know what they were going with with these speckles all over. Um, I'm not sure. They're just all like the little white speckles all over the place, but... I'm not sure if it was supposed to be this way or they just kind of like flick the paint, the white paint on it. You know, I'm not 100% sure. And also, the feel of the castle. It, it's lighter than the original. I have to say that it's lighter. And the feel is a little bit different. The, the the old one seems like a little bit smoother. And the plastic on the old one seems a little bit more solid. Like it's harder to... The, this is kind of... You know, just... Um, it's not bad. It's it's pretty good. It's I think it's great. It's just... If you're comparing it to the original... You could see the plastic is different. Now on the bottom here you have this this little tiny flip here. And 
as you can feel underneath, the castle sits up and there's this lip going all the way around too. That's different. Uh, now we're going to go to the back of the castle. I'm going to spin it around here. And on the side you're going to see, let's, let's talk about this first. There is a metal rod going straight through. And the metal rod uh, is different than what we had in the original Castle Grayskull. Which it kind of had just two little, uh, two little uh, plastic connections that you can actually separate if you wanted to. It's kind of like just... <clears throat> and sometimes they broke. I mean, some castles, they're broken off and stuff. The little, the little hinges that it has. So now I'm going to go to the back. So I'm going to talk about this here. Now, this is really, really nice. I mean, this deco. This wood... Uh, deco right here is really really nice um, they did a beautiful job and it's still just pretty much like the original but it's painted brown which is really really nice I mean it's more painted this is more in a paint scheme of the uh, original uh, with the Motu Classics Castle Grayskull and you could see the windows here, they're, they're actually, the windows are cut out here. And that's pretty cool too, because you can see inside there, uh, all these windows are cut out. I mean, here too. Um, the brown here deco on this is beautiful too on the towers. It's really beautiful. You can see the, you can see what time, great time, they, the time they spent doing this castle to try to appease everybody make it more modern looking and appease the uh older generation the collectors that grew up with the original he-man now this is just like the other one you could put your hand in here and carry it with you which is really really nice it's a beautiful beautiful castle it doesn't have the like the motu classics it doesn't have the breakaway secret door in the back which is fine with me I, I like the original castle the motu classics castle you know is beautiful it's massive this is massive it's you know i had to make room for this you know it um it's pretty massive and the other one the classics the motu classics is very massive too but this is one of the best play sets. I mean, Castle Grayskull, and one of the best in history. I, I that's I believe that. And you got the windows here too. The windows are all the windows are cut out, which is really really neat in this. Now we're going to go around to the side and look at the way they did the hinges to open the castle up, rather than the um, the little snaps that they used. Back then, that would sometimes go missing, you know. Um, it would, um, they wouldn't, you know, there's times that th th some of the castles wouldn't have those snaps. So I'm going to open this up now for you guys to see inside and what I've done since the last video. So you just open it up like this. Like that, right there. And you just open the this castle up and you can see everything that is inside here sorry about that you can see all that you have inside here inside the castle and I will tell you it's hard to fit but we have a beautiful wooden ladder and you can look on it and it looks like it has like little ropes tied around the uh, tied around the connected pieces, which is a very nice attention to detail. Now you have you have this is one of the best pieces that we got. We have the white sorceress. 
She is awesome. I wonder if we're going to get the original style of Sorceress. Uh, I do have the original, original Sorceress. I wonder if we're going to get her in that, those colors. And we have the weapons rack with a few weapons. I mean, you don't get all the weapons that were there, but this is this weapons rack, rack, um, rack is pretty, pretty nice because the weapons stay in its place. It kind of snaps in to where the weapons are. They just snap in there so they don't fall out. Um, but he's here too. It's it's a little smaller than the other one, but the attention to detail is great. I mean, you could see the brown, the um, the wood here. It's pretty awesome. Now, you could see here uh, we have the elevator, and again we have the gargoyle here and it's the same way you use it the same way it's got a rope so you kind of pull it up and then you stick it here or any pretty much anywhere if you want if you can, like there too you can put it there but it goes up it's pretty neat it stops there but the gargoyle here is um, a solid gargoyle and he's a little more pliable He's more pliable than the original. The original was like a solid piece of plastic. This is more pliable. That's, and then there you have the computer here. And I put the sticker on the computer. As you can see that. I have the sticker on there. Um, I'm not very good at the stickers. So I had to really take my time with that. I wish they would give you another sheet. Uh, sticker sheet. Just in case you mess up. Then... Or you can have another sticker sheet to preserve if you want for another time. Um, you could see that this splits. That's because it was another, like another row here on top. Oh, and the ladder. You could put the ladder here. And it just slats right there. And... That's pretty cool that they, they offered that little attention to detail. And also the ladder goes right here in the in this area. It's got a little, um, a little area, little slats cut out just for the ladder. And then if we go look at these, we have banners now. And they're kind of a cloth banner this side. And then we have a cloth banner on this side, too. And all the mechanisms pretty much work the same. So if you have um, a character that is standing on the trap door, if, you know, you can make them stand, like, like on a trap door, I don't know if I'm going to get her to stand, but I'll try He-Man here. If you have him on a trap door, He-Man, you just turn that thing there. You can't get him to go, but there we go. Let's try it again. You can just turn this thing here. I can't get him. I'll just show you. And... The trap door comes down like that. Just put it back. There's another uh, thing too, another weapons rack here that is something I've not seen before, but it's pretty neat. I mean, you could put the swords on there, the power swords on there. Pretty neat, this one. And there is a uh, smaller computer here. That you could see over here. And I put the sticker on the top there. And the top piece of that. But if you look at all the. the all the uh, floors here. And the platforms. They're all like a wood. Color. They really did a nice job with that. They made it. Just like. The 
the Mo2 Classics one with that in that aspect because then you would have had like more of an orangey color uh, platforms if they would have you know continued the look that they had from the 80s it would have been all orange so but I think they did a nice job with it like this orange here the throne is they left it pretty much tried to implement both in there you know now we have the training uh, training uh, piece here and you could see here with the training piece they really filled it out here because in the other one the other training piece it was more of a flat uh, piece on each side and this is actually looks like a fist and this actually looks like sort of like a warthog warthog like a a pig pretty neat and you just spin that thing around you can see the fist here and they kept it same but they added an extra foot they added an extra foot here that's okay pretty neat oh and another thing we have the sticker back you could see the sticker that we have here on the bottom here we have the original sticker just like the other sticker, but it seems like it's a little bit smaller than the original great sticker with all the creatures coming out of it. All in all, I will have to say this is one nice playset. Really, really is a nice playset. I will definitely give them a thumbs up, and I do like the fact that instead of, instead of all these being... Uh, cardboard they made them actually molded they molded the computers the only thing I would have to say that kind of is disappointing to me is the fact that they didn't give us the astronaut suit the robot suit I mean maybe they're gonna make one but they I think they could have gave us a molded piece to put here you know, I think they could have gave us one. We could have put the molded piece here, um, a flat piece, just like it was in the Motu Classics. That would have been cool. They could have gave us that. That would have been awesome. Because that seems to be the only thing that's kind of missing here. Everything is really well done. So there you have it, guys. We got the showing you the inside of the castle, being a little more comparing it a little more to the original here and i just want to say thank you guys and come and listen to me on my podcast at the toys of a time gone by i am on google apple i am on spotify anchor and more you can find me everywhere so thanks again guys until the next video please comment like and share and please mash that subscribe button